The S-Series cameras have several options for burst photography. Let's walk you through the menu system and show you how to set up burst and how to use these features. So first, at the top of the camera, this is our drive dial. You'll have two different options for burst, burst one or burst two. You can customize the behavior of these under the camera tab, others page, burst one and burst two. We're going to assign burst one as a high speed burst. That'll be our fastest burst. For burst two, you could choose medium or low. In this case, we're going to assign it as a 6K or 4K photo. And I'll explain this a little bit later on in the video. So for right now, we're going to set this into mode one. So as we're looking at our subject, if you want to know how many bursts you have before you fill the buffer, you half press the shutter. And as I hold the shutter down, you see where it says R62? That's because I'm in raw plus fine. That means I'll get 62 bursts before the buffer empties and I have to wait for the camera to buffer up again. You can also set the camera to straight raw and that buys you 64 bursts before the buffer would fill. And this is the S1 model. Or you could be in fine and you'll have more than 99 shots before that buffer fills up. So we're gonna go ahead and put the camera into raw. We'll focus on our model. We have 64 bursts to work with. All right, let's go. And you can see we had no problems. We didn't fill the buffer. Now this camera shoots yeah, about six frames per second when it's auto focusing. Well, what if you want more options for extraction? That's where 6K or 4K photo comes in. This is gonna give you either 60 frames or 30 frames of video per second, and then you can extract stills from that. So we'd first put this into mode two because remember we assigned 6K photo to burst two. Now we're gonna teach you how to set up 6K and 4K photo. That's the bottom option on tab one, the camera tab. We're going to go to 6K, 4K photo. So from here, you have some choices. We can either do 6K photo, which will be 30 frames per second. That means every frame is gonna be an 18 megapixel still image. Or you could have 60 frames per second, each of them an eight megapixel image. That's big enough for about a 13 by 19 or an 11 by 17 print. So we're gonna do the 6K, I'm sorry, we're gonna do the 4K at 60P. So we get lots of frames. So now that we have this set, we're going to line up our shot. So the way you choose your frames is you can just drag across here to look at the frames. Look at all those different photos we have to choose from. You press set, save, and that's now extracting that as a photo. Now there are some really cool options with the 6K and 4K photo function as well, different ways that you can use the system. So going into the camera's menu, we're in the 6K, 4K photo mode, which again is the top tab, bottom page, others photo two. You'll see recording method. The method I was using is a burst function, so I had to hold the shutter the entire time, and then when I was done shooting, just took my finger off. You can also have it behave like a camcorder. So what I can do is I can press the shutter now and it starts recording, go ahead and jump. And then I can stop recording. And then I can select my frames from there if I'd like. My favorite function though is something we call pre-burst. So with our pre-burst function, what this is, it's a buffer. So I'm gonna zoom in tight and then I'll hit the shutter after she's jumped. And what you'll see is it will have actually captured the images of her jumping before I had hit the shutter. Now I hit the shutter after she has already jumped. And as you can see, I still got a shot of her in the air, even though I hit the shutter after she had jumped. And that's all the burst options you have on the S series of cameras. Panasonic.